Hey guys, so I wanted to start sharing with you guys about Wushu training when you're getting into your 40s and even 50s and how you can do that and how I'm currently doing that. Um, now let me tell you, it is a big difference. Um, you know, I, I would say it, in my experience, every 10 years, it starts to feel different. You know, you're in your 20s and you feel great and your 30s, you can still do everything. You know, you have to be more careful and some days you might not be able to pull off the things you can do another day. And then you get older and older and there's certain things you're just going to have a hard time doing. But, you know, it can be done. And um, I think the most important thing I'd like to say is, like, if you train with you when you're older, you can push yourself, but you need to really watch out because any injury can set you back so far. And also you're much easier to get injured and um, so that is like my my uh, my my biggest uh, advice to you if you train I'm gonna share you a couple of clips right now so let's take a look what it looks like and uh, give me a comment and uh, see what you think so yes I started with some warm-up and stretches and uh, so I started with uh, sitting stretches I like using sitting stretches first it usually puts a little bit less pressure on my hamstring than starting with the bar stretches. Then I went into bar stretches, which I didn't film, and then I did my splits, which I still can do pretty well, but what you can't see in the video is that uh, it kind of hurts. <laughs> and, um, but I can still get down, you know. Uh, I think in the past when I was training, my biggest problem was always my upper body. I was born with these really weird shoulders and elbows and try to adjust them and try to make it better. Anyway, what I'm doing right now is I'm kind of doing a rehab for my, uh, for my knee. And here's some upper body basics, starting with straight punch, and then followed by palm strikes, and, um, and the fist palm hook. Now everybody always does this to go differently, but this, uh, the main purpose is to practice your fist palm hook and your shoulders. And um, <clears throat> then I did some other uh, upper body stuff. Um, this is basically a drill that helps me to open my shoulders a bit more and to control the shoulder blades. And I do the same exercise with some extra rotations. And um, yeah, later on I tried to make some training videos for people to uh, help you with uh, shoulder problems in Wushu. This is another shoulder exercise, some arm wheels. And then here are some kicks, starting with slap kick. Now I still added a step. Straight kick, still going almost all the way up. Missing a little bit, side straight kick, still missing a little bit of range of motion there. And then your slap kick and some other basic uh, Wushu kicks outside with slaps, some combination, and um, yeah, I mean that's pretty much the extent of what it uh, looks like at this moment. All right, so hope you enjoyed my uh, little training video shots, and uh, yeah, leave a comment below, uh, subscribe, and I hope to start making some videos. I also like to start sharing some more videos about. You know, some of the students I used to train at California Wushu and uh, maybe later some students I train here and um, maybe also some videos I have from the past, but most of them are on VHS or DVD, but I'd like to start sharing it uh, if I get a chance to set those over into MP4. All right, so uh, yeah, leave a comment and uh, also if you are training and you're training uh, mostly alone with no teacher. Um, you can ask me a question. I also teach online Wushu classes and um, yeah, or if you just want to shoot me a message, you, you know, you want to get some advice on a couple of moves or something, yeah, just uh, find me on Facebook. Uh, my Facebook name is uh, my real name, Peter Hogden. Um, you can find me and, uh, and shoot me a message. All right, see you in the next video.